Hey gang, here's the logarithm definition from previous videos, and here's an infinite sum for e that you usually get in Calculus 1. Now I'll show you how to go from the log to the infinite sum without calculus, unless you count a few limits. First, remember e is by definition the number whose logarithm is 1. So let's rearrange the bits without the limit, raise everything to the power of n, and take the limit as n goes to infinity. Now that's our limit definition of e. But what do we do with that? Well, we could multiply the expression by itself until forever, or we can use the binomial theorem. And if you're a little rusty there, you can check out the videos in the linked playlist. First, plug in the terms from our e expression. This term is always 1, so we can nix it and make things look nicer. There, that's e. Let's unpack the binomial coefficient, tighten up the rational expression, and pop it all into the corner for reference. Now we have a recipe for an infinite sum. Start with the k equals 0 term. It looks like this. Simplify, cancel the n factorials, this is just 1, so out it goes. And here's our first term. Next, k equals 1. Same process. Simplify. Cancel stuff. That's our next term. It starts to look a little different from k equals 2 onward. Once we are done all our cancelling, we have this minus 1 up here. But as n gets larger, it disappears. So we can cancel the n's leaving us with the factorial in the denominator. We could continue this process to get as close to e as we like. And there's our infinite sum for e. Now while Bob may be our uncle, we can use this sum to prove that e is irrational. But that's another video. So subscribe for more, and cheers.